Good morning everyone my name is Sumaya i am from 6th class of Vijayadari high school Karimnagar we are going to explain about separation of substances first what is a mixture a mixture is a combination of one or two substances is called mixture next why do we need to separate the mixture before using a substance we need to separate harmful or non useful components that may be mixed with them sometimes even we separate the useful components because we need to use them separately next separation methods threshing hand picking winnowing sieving sedimentation and decantation filtration crystallization distillation sublimation chromatography these are some separation methods now let us learn them in detail first threshing in this method of separation farmers separate the crops farmers separate the grains from the harvested crop by beating them on a hard surface here the farmers are beating the plants on a hard surface and the grains are separated from the plant hand picking first do you know what is hand picking hand picking is a separating the sub, separating the substances by using fingers and picked by in variation of sizes and structure of a particle in our home daily we observe the hand picking process our mothers separate the stones from the rice separating of oranges and apples oranges and apples are in variation of sizes colors shapes and particles next method is winnowing do you know what is winnowing Winnowing is a method of separating components of a mixture containing heavier and lighter particles lighter particles by wind or by blowing air it is used to separate husk particles from the grains in this picture the woman is separating the husk and the grains the husk are moved away in the direction of air and the husk is in lighter weight and the grains fell down because the grains are in heavier weight next method is sieving do you know what is sieving a sieve is a flat pan like structure with many holes on its base a cloth can be act a cloth can also be act as a sieve in this method of separation different sized particles will be removed will be separated by using a sieve smaller and larger particles will be separated by using a sieve here the insects will separated from the floor insects will remain on the sieve because the insects are in heavier particles and the floor fell down because the floor is lighter particle this process is known as sieving now my friends will explain about some more separation methods thank you my name is afan from class 6 today i am going to explain about separation methods sedimentation decantation filtration is used to separate insoluble impurities from water and distillation crystallization is used to separate soluble impurities from water now let us discuss about sedimentation and decantation what is sedimentation the solid material that settles at the bottom of the bottom of the liquid is called sediment and the process is called sedimentation look at the picture the water is separated from mud the mud is called sediment and the total process is called sedimentation the upper clear the let us discuss about the decantation the upper clear liquid are poured into another container the help of glass rod without disturbing the sediment is called decantation what is decantation the process of separation of clear upper liquid from sediment is called decantation the other uh, the other separation is filtration what is filtration my name is nishad kosa today i am going to tell about filtration another technique for water purification is filtration this technique is better as it helps in removal of very small impurities also which are not removed by sedimentation and decantation In this method the impure water is made to pass through a filter paper 
This is funnel. In this funnel, there is a filter paper. The filter paper acts as a sieve and does not allow the light impurities pass through it. Solid particles trapped by filter paper is called residue. Liquid that has passed through filter paper is called filtrate. This total process is known as filtration. We use this method in in our daily life. Example: tea leaves from tea. We can separate this method. Thank you. Next process is crystallization. I already told you that the crystallization and distillation is used to separate soluble impurities from water. Now let us discuss about crystallization. What is crystallization? Crystallization is a process of 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 separate dissolved solid substances from a liquid. It is called crystallization. Now let us take one example. Salt from salt water can be separated by crystallization. How it is possible? When the sun rises is more, the water gets evaporated and salt will be the remain. The the other method is distillation. What is distillation? Distillation is a process of separating the components of liquid mixture by boiling it and cooling the vapors. I explain this distillation with the help of an activity. In distillation, there are some main main parts. This is one round bottom flask, condenser, receiving flask, Bunsen burner. When the water is heated up, the the water vapor passes through the condenser. What is the use of condenser? Condenser cool the water vapors. The water vapor turns into the liquid form. The liquid form only is collected by the receiving flask. This is known as distilled water. It is not only used in to uh, it is not only used distilled distillation of water. It also used to separate the components of petroleum, namely kerosene, diesel, oil, petrol, heavy oil. Tool oil, etc. My name is Kiran Kumar. I am from class 6. Today I am going to explain about sublimation. What is sublimation? The process in which a substance changes directly from solid to gaseous form and vice versa is called sublimation. Let's see the activity. Take the camphor and powder salt in a china dish and close the china dish with a funnel. Close a funnel with cotton plug. Now place the dish on a stand and heat it with a burner. Now what you will observe here? Now we will observe here the solid form changes into gaseous form without changing into a liquid form. This process is called sublimation. In the preparation of camphor and trinker salt, we use the sublimation method. My name is Surya Charan. I am from 6th standard. I am going to explain about chromatography. First, do you know what is chromatography? Chromatography is the method to separate the components of a mixture by passing through a medium in which the components move at different rates. Let us take some examples. Separation of ink, green pigment of leaf, separation of dyes. Do you know where do we use this chromatography? We use this chromatography to separate in colors, to separate the colors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.